Hey, welcome to Gourmet Fishing. I'm your host, David Murray. On today's show, hey, we are going to create a delicious and hearty fish stew. So I tell you what, if you want to learn how to make this at home in your own kitchen, stay tuned because we're going to start it right now. Hey, let's take a look at our ingredients for our fish stew. We've got bacon, four slices of bacon, cut up in little small bite-sized pieces right here. We've got four pieces of salt pork, or what I like to call fat back. That ah, just sounds better, doesn't it? <laughs> We've got three cups of diced potatoes. We've got a diced uh, sweet onion. Uh, we've got some salt and pepper. Uh, we've got sugar, about a quarter cup of sugar. That's gonna, that's really gonna uh, kick this thing up and really add some good flavor. We've got Worcestershire. We've got uh, uh, crushed tomatoes. We've got a little bit of um, evaporated milk. A little small can, five ounces of that. It's really gonna pull everything together. We've got uh, uh, our um, hot pluff mud sauce. We've got cayenne pepper. We've got fresh bay leaves, some dried oregano. We've got some thyme. We've got some long leaf parsley. Right here, we've got clamato juice. We'll talk about that here in a minute. And then we've got a couple of pounds of flounder fillets. So I tell you what, let's go ahead and get our base started. And our base begins with our bacon. So we're gonna put that right in here. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh-huh, trying to get away. There we are, getting back in there. <laughs> so, we're gonna get that going. Let's grab us a, a wooden spoon, get it moving around. And I, uh, I already kind of kicked this off with uh, about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of bacon grease, uh, just to keep the, um, the bacon we just put in there from sticking and uh, kind of, you know, I wouldn't say burning, but sticking to the pan. So we've kind of kicked all of that off. Um, and next, in a few minutes, we're gonna probably cook this for 30, 40 seconds. We're coming in with our fat back. Fat back is this little guy right here. This is, a, I've had four of these pieces. Uh, we got a little nice uh, uh, rind, kind of the skin uh, of, of, of the pig. I believe this comes from the belly and it's cured in salt. I mean, it's all kind of salt. Oh yeah, good. <laughs> so what's, uh, what's gonna be nice is we won't have to add a lot of salt to our um, our stew because it's kind of sort of built in with our fat back. So we're gonna go ahead and add that to our pot and we're using a heavy bottom uh, pot here. And this should hold our entire fish stew. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna come in here, we're gonna, we're gonna cook this down um, just until our bacon begins to, to brown and, and just starts to get a little crispy. All right, we slowly get in there. Now, tell you what, we're gonna let this do its thing. Uh, we've got uh, temperature on about a medium high. Now, we've got some flounder fillets right here. We've got about a pound and a half, two pounds of flounder fillets. Now, I've got a, a pot of water over here. I am, yeah, I'm gonna move that back one so we can see it a little better. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kick the, uh, the cooking process off on our fish. It's kind of, I guess you could say it's kind of, kind of sort of like we're poaching it. So, <laughs> we're gonna be careful. We're gonna add our flounder into our pot, just like so. There you go, yes sir. Now we get that moved around and we're gonna kind of sort at the same time, be able to create a little bit of fish stock in case we need to add that to our, our soup to, to thin it out. I don't think we will, but at least we'll have that there. Uh, we are starting to get nice little brown edges on our little bacon pieces. So it's time to come in and we're gonna add our whole diced sweet onion. Yes sir. -y. And that, oh man, that's gonna be good too. Yes sir. -y. Again, we're, but, you know, when I'm talking about dices, I'm talking about little small pieces, uh, all kind of sort of about the same size. Uh, now all of this stuff is gonna uh, break down after we, uh, you know, uh, get this thing cooking and, uh, and stewing itself away. And so it'll be a little easier to, to, to munch on in case you get like one of those little crazy pieces that kind of get away from you. You can't quite dice him up. I think there's one or two in there, but they'll be okay. Here we go. Yes, sir. 
We're gonna cook our onions for a couple of minutes and then we're gonna add our potatoes. We're gonna start getting this, these onions to the translucent uh, stage where they're start, just starting to kinda, kinda get a little see-through, I guess you could say. So, there we go. Now, come in, we've got three cups of diced potatoes. We're gonna add that in here just like so. Yes, sir. All right, come on. And we're gonna give these a good stir, just like that. We're gonna kick that cooking process off also. Now, if you wanted, um, huh, I'm not quite sure what that is. We'll make him go away. <laughs> anyway, you know, if you, um, this is gonna be um, not a thick stew uh, or chowder or anything like that, but if you wanted to thicken your uh, your chowder, I mean your chowder, listen, your stew up, uh, and you, you can use two uh, cups of your diced potatoes and then get about a cup of shredded or grated um, potatoes. And th those grated potatoes will break down a lot quicker and thicken thicken up your, your soup or your stew with the starch that's built into these uh, potatoes. So. Here we go, we're gonna cook everything now uh, for about three or four more minutes. Just like that. Ugh. Okay, potatoes are starting to break down just a tad, so I think it's time for us to go ahead and add kind of our, our liquid portion of our stew. So we've got two 28 ounce cans of crushed tomatoes. We're gonna add that one. Come over here and we're gonna add this one, just like so. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, come on, let's go get everything out. There we are, okay. Now, move this out of the way, come over here. Get this all stirred in and work together. And then we're gonna come in, we're gonna add our five ounces or our small can of evaporated milk, just like that. Okay, let's get this thing all, all incorporated in there. Just like so. So. At this point, we've got, we've got bacon, we've got our fat back, we've got our potatoes, our onions, now we've got our um, tomatoes and our evaporated milk. Now here comes clamato juice. You might be saying, what the heck's clamato juice? Well, clamato juice is a combination of tomato juice and clam juice. Uh, they say it makes a, uh, a great Bloody Mary. I can't vouch for that because I do not like Bloody Marys at all. So we'll have to go by what they say. So <laughs> take that for whatever it's worth. So let's get this thing in here, get everything incorporated in, and then we're going to start adding some of our herbs and our spices to this, just like so. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Now, okay, we've got a little bit of pepper. I'm just going to come in here. This is that coarse ground pepper gonna add a couple of a couple of little heavy pinchfuls just like that then here we've got two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce add that in <clears throat> right here we've got a quarter cup of sugar neat thing about the sugar it's gonna do a couple of a couple of things obviously it's gonna add well sweetness <laughs> as sugar does but what it is also gonna do is cut down on some of the acidity that's inherent into uh, the tomatoes so and that will that will, and you can if you do anything with well, any type of cooking like with spaghetti or chili or anything like that, add just a little bit of that sugar in there and that will definitely help cut down on I wouldn't, I guess a little bit of a bitterness, but that, that little, that little acidity uh, that's inherent into the uh, tomatoes. But that was uh, two tables, two teaspoons of our hot pluff mud sauce and a half a teaspoon of our um, uh, cayenne pepper, dried oregano, two teaspoons of that. You know, sometimes I found that it, uh, the dried spices sometimes work just a little bit better than the fresh ones. But speaking of that, here are two fresh bay leaves that's going in. And then right here, we've got, out of the way, we've got a couple of nice sprigs of, um, of fresh thyme. I'm gonna come in and grab, let's see what we're gonna grab. One, yeah, let's see. Yep, that'll work. Uh, two uh, long leaf parsley uh, stems. I'm gonna come in, put these together. We're gonna create what the French call a bouquet garni, which is just a little bundle of, of, of herb greatness, you know? <laughs> it just adds all kind of 
great flavors to whatever you're cooking. So we got a little bit of butcher's twine here coming in just a couple of overhand knots. Nothing uh, fancy or special, just like that. Just like that. Now I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna cut just a little bit of these off just like that. Now, so now I'm gonna come in and grab one of my, my, um, my sauce bottles. That's the reason I'm doing that. So I'm just gonna give just a quick little roll across so we can uh, kind of bruise it up and get these flavors um, uh, kick-started. So these oils will come out and get into our our stew, just like so. Let's come in here, we're gonna stir everything up just like that, get it all throughout. And we're gonna come in here and add our fish. Here we go, we've got everything just about combined in here the way it needs to be all throughout our stew. Uh, now it's time to add our fish. I have uh, strained some of our broth off of that. And now we're gonna come in with our uh, potato masher, how about that? And we're just gonna come in here and we're just gonna give it a couple of good, uh, good crunches to break all this fish up. I kind of like my fish to, uh, to flake throughout my stew. So that's me, if not, you can, if you don't want that, you can come in, you can just kind of crack it up with your hands or, or a spoon or a fork. Uh, or if you want to dice up a little more of a heartier fish, like a dolphin filet or a cod or something like that, you can do that too. So here we go. Come on, get out of there. I don't want to leave any. There it is, right there, okay. So here we go, now we're gonna add this into our stew, just like so. Try not to make a mess, oh yeah. Just like that, I probably should have used a little bigger pot, but oh well, we'll make this work. <laughs> so now we're gonna come in here, we're gonna get all of our fish throughout. Just like that, with a good stir. Oh, coming close. So here we go. Yep, there we go. All right, it's coming together, coming together. There we go, we got everything combined the way it needs to be. Now it's time for a little bit of Simmering. We're gonna let this simmer. We're gonna actually first we're gonna bring it up to a boil. Then we're going to turn the heat down on low. We're gonna cover it right here with our cover, and we're gonna let it simmer for about 30 minutes. Oh yeah. Oh man, I tell you what, this is looking delicious right here. Oh, look at all of that. All that fish is kind of flaked up and it's kind of just all throughout our stew. You know, we can see a little bit of uh, onions right there. We've got some potatoes you can see right there and our, our fat back and our bacon. Man, this thing is ready for us <laughs> to plate or bowl and eat. So I tell you what, our next step is to get our, um, our uh, herbs our herbs, our herbs out of our stew. And the neat thing about this little bouquet garni it's got its own little handle right there. <laughs> Perfect. Now, let's see if we can find our bait. There's one. Usually they hide. How about that? Right on cue. We can take that one out. Now, I don't know if we're going to find the other one. That it's, you know, I'm sure there's one. He's in there hiding behind something down there. Let's see. Any luck? Any luck? Uh, I guess he's going to get away with hanging out in the, uh, in the bottom of the stew. So, here we go. Move you out the way. Yes, sir. We're going to get our ladle. We've got some red wine poured. Now we're going to, we are going to bowl up or plate up our fish stew, just like this. Here we go. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. That looks so good. Yes. Man, you're talking about something good and hearty to have on a, on a cool evening. Uh, nice little winter, fall, or even an early spring uh, little meal. Look at that. Oh, heck yeah. Just, oh man, okay, a little bit more, a little bit more, there we are, okay. There it is, man, how about that? I'm gonna put this over here. Oh, here it is, man, check that thing out right there. Ah, perfect, simple, easy, it really is. You know, the hardest thing or the longest thing to do is to sit and wait for this thing to simmer for 30 minutes. You know, about 15 minutes to, uh, to prep everything, about 15 minutes to bring it all together, then you get that 30 minute wait, we are at an hour cooking time. Now, you know, we're serving that with a with a red wine. You can serve it with whatever wine you want. You know, I'm gonna come in here like this. I'm just gonna add a little bit of, a little bit of decoration, nothing major. 
minute I start eating, that thing's coming out anyway. But uh, I tell you what, hey, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And we've got a neat little recipe right down here, conch stew. Ah, very similar to what we've got going on here, but just a little bit different flavor profile. So, uh, hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. It's all right there. Hey, I tell you what, until next time, God bless, and we'll see you soon.